I think the number one thing that I've really reflected on uh, lately is the value of lived experience. So, you know, growing up, I felt like I've always had a pretty sharp sense of, of justice and really wanted to be open and empathetic to the experiences of other people. Uh, and I used to get upset when people would tell me, oh, well, you can't understand, you don't understand. And I would say things like, well, I want to understand. I have some really good friends who have helped, who've helped me um, understand some of those things, but also it's just one of those deals where as you get older, you, you really understand that empathy can do a lot, but it can't do everything. So a good example is my dad passed away in 2006, right? So I'm fine now, I'm good. But when people say, oh, I know how that feels. If your dad is still alive, you don't know how that feels. So the same can be said for any experience, including experiences of people of color, right? So um, the one thing that I've grown to appreciate a lot over the past uh, couple of years, and especially recently, is the value of having people around you who have had different experiences than you and are willing to bring those perspectives because as much as you want to understand, um, you really need those, those lived experiences, people who've had the things that you're talking about happen to them um, in order to really get a true picture of. I really hope that we can, as an organization, seek those out. Um, I've been seeking those out and um, I'm really grateful for all the friends that I have that have, that have helped uh, um, to bring their perspectives in my life. So.